sorry about the crappy sorry about the crappy lighting I'm outside because I don't want to film inside but I think I might actually regret sitting out here because it's hot out anyways so as you probably have seen in the last video I posted I did something stupid obviously um, not gonna really go into full detail as to how and what happened so really just a quick recap I did something stupid and as a result of doing something stupid I broke my hand which is actually a major problem because it's my dominant hand the one I write with so yeah I'm just like waiting for somebody to like drive by or like walk past that door and just look at me weird because I'm sitting on the ground but anyways so how do I put this so basically what happened is I tried punching a bottle that failed because my hand slipped because the bottle was wet and I ended up hitting the wood beneath the bottle that it was sitting on I mean it was kind of a success because the bottle it, it went down okay and yeah I get that I'm probably dumb for saying that but I could care less um, did I learn my lesson? Obviously. Like, I'm not that stupid to make the same mistake again. Okay, maybe I am, but, like, if it's for, like, self-defense, obviously I'm gonna have to do it. But that's not the point. The point is, did I learn my lesson? Yes. The reason this makes me kind of angry is because... For legit, like, the entire, from, like, the day that it happened to, I don't know, I don't know, second to, like, the second week of having to be in this situation, um, obviously, it was depressing. Like, I went an entire week without, like, leaving my room unless it was necessary. I pretty much avoided people. And... This is- this video is kind of all over the place. Because this- for one, it does frustrate me that people have the nerve to repeat the exact same thing multiple times and I'm the I'm that type of person that I only like to be told something once and like if you're gonna repeat it I'm obviously gonna get mad and probably snap at you about it because I get it I screwed up that's on me I'm the reason for doing something stupid like I get it like the res this is the result of me doing something stupid like I'm not like I'm not gonna lie it's 100% my fault because I'm the one that did it in the first place but it's only 50% my fault because nobody else was there so except for one person but I'm not naming names because I'm not a name dropper like some people are not and I'm not pointing fingers and saying oh every oh this person's a name dropper like I'm not doing that 
I'm just stating that there are some people who, you know, if they're going to call someone out, they call them out by name. I, for one, am not that type of person. Anyways, I'm not going to go into the full, like, story details of, okay, it's probably just the TV. Like, I'm not going to go into, like, the full story of what happened. Like, other people, like, there are literally, like, lots of people who assume that I beat the crap out of somebody. I mean, if that's what you want to think, go ahead. I don't care. <sighs> and as you can tell, this is obviously all over the place. I'm not crying for one, so don't comment, oh, why are you crying? Like, I'm not crying, it's because I'm sitting outside and I'm in the middle of two allergic reactions. One for which I don't even know, like, the reason for it being caused, but. Okay, making a disclaimer real quick. If I look like I'm crying, I'm not crying. I have two allergic reactions going on at the moment, one of which being something that I ha that I get that I have to deal with like every early like mid spring throughout summer because I'm allergic to pollen. Yesterday it was really bad. Yesterday was my cousin's wedding, so we were outside the a majority of the time and since I didn't take my allergy medicine because I'm an idiot and I forgot, my eyes, my eyes were making it seem like I was crying, which I wasn't. I mean, that, that was emotional. But anyways, that's not the point. That's not even what this video is about. But if you're gonna tell me that it's basically my fault, that's fine, go ahead, you just don't, don't remind me a million times, like, there's like, there's like at least five people that have said the exact same thing, like, I don't need a lecture because I get it, I fucked up, that's on me, and probably that's on me only, like, do I care, no. Am I the one that's got to live with it? Yes. My point is, just don't repeat the same thing over and over and don't give someone a lecture if they've already gotten it. Like, yeah, you probably don't know that they've already gotten a lecture to begin with, but still, don't do it. It's, 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 just, it's just not necessary. So, you're probably going to comment down below and be like, okay, you're basically just complaining. Like, I'm not complaining. I mean, it, it might sound like it, but that's because this is one thing that, like, personally, I've never broken a bone in my entire life up to now. And the fact that some people have the nerve to be like oh it's your fault blah 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 and all that crap like i get it it's my fault i screwed up don't remind me like if you're gonna keep reminding me just just you're not helping the situation you're not making it better by telling somebody that it's their fault because if it's if it's their dominant hand and like if you guys and if you're like doing like grocery shopping and stuff like that like they are and they're and even when they're told that they cannot lift stuff if you like if you're gonna complain that this person can't help you Is it really, 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 this kid has the nerve to Snapchat me at the moment. Like, dude, I'm busy. Anyways. Like, 
I forgot where I was because I got distracted. <sighs> right. If you're gonna basically complain about the fact that the person who is injured cannot help you with anything, don't do it because they already feel like a disappointment as it is because they can't do anything and they have to ask for help on certain situations. But like, if you're gonna complain or be a jerk about it, then what's the point in even this person like asking you? Like, you know that they're gonna need help with certain stuff, especially if it's the dominant hand that gets injured or something like that. Like, you know they're gonna need your help, yet you're gonna complain about helping them. Anyways, like, don't, just don't bother. Like, I think that's what aggravates me the most is that people will complain. Like, okay, like, I'm just saying this, like, on a personal level, because I literally had to go through this. Like, I've even, like, I've even, like, basically snapped at a couple people and basically said out loud that, okay, I get it, I'm a disappointment at the moment, but, like, you don't have to keep reminding me, you don't have to keep pointing it out to me like I get it so just don't say anything because you know that I'm already upset enough as it is that I have to ask for help that I have to keep reminding you when you complain that I can't lift anything heavy Like, it's the first time I've ever broken a bone, yet, instead of being supportive about it, you're going to be a jerk about it to me. Like, on a personal level, that's just how I feel about the situation. Okay, that's just a garbage can for a minute. I was like, what the heck is that? But, just don't remind me, like... Overall, my main point is just don't act like a jerk to the person who's injured. And this goes for pretty much anybody because, you know, anybody can break a bone multiple times. Like, some people, their parents are like, oh, this is just a normal thing because my kid does this on a daily basis. But... If it's the first time your kid has ever broken a bone or anything like that, instead of basically kind of being against them and, like, not being supportive, like, just keep your mouth shut, really. Like, if you're not going to be supportive and actually, like, help them and also not make them feel like a big enough, like, a bigger disappointment than they already feel like they are, then... I don't know what to tell you. So basically that is all that I have to say. Oh, and one more thing. Like, the reason why I did it is because one, um, well, I'm not going to state my real reason as to why I'm doing it, but like, I'm not lying about it. It's just something that I don't want to go into detail about. Two. Yeah, I did it, like, I didn't do it because I wanted to, I did it to prove a point that I'm not a chicken, like, not, like, I'm not gonna back down from anything, like, I'm not gonna be a pussy about it, I'm gonna go through with it. Cause, to me, like, yeah, I get it, I could have been like, no, I'm not gonna do that, and, like, I could have just walked away. 
but in my mind, because of like my, 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 how do I put this? My mind frame and the way I think is I see weakness as, like I see, okay, how do I word this? I see, the way I look at it is if you back down from something, you're basically showing that you're weak by not doing it. So, and the way I look at it is I look at it as being weak. So that's part of the reason why I did it. Like, I'm not, like, I'm gonna, like, if you were to tell me to do something or be like and like mention that oh if you don't do this then you must be that freaking weak um if it gets to that point I'm obviously gonna do it because I'm not gonna I don't I don't let people walk all over me I'm not that type of person I get it I'm gonna, like, if I speak my mind, it could come back to slap me in the face. But the main reason I do it is because I don't like people walking all over me. I don't like people telling me what to do. And I just, I just don't, like, I'm just, I'm not going to sit there, let you trash talk about how, like, weak or pathetic I am. Or that goes for, like, anybody in general. Like, nobody... Like, if you're the type of person that's not gonna take anybody's crap for anything, then props to you. But, like, me, personally, I don't like people walking all over me. I'm not, like, I'm obviously gonna speak my mind because, one, I basically grew up in that mindset. Like, my own grandmother speaks her mind constantly, and she she's basically a negative person. And if I have, and since I'm kind of mostly around her, that negative energy kind of reflects off of kind of reflects off of me and yeah I'm we have our quarrels we argue about how negative she can get and yeah but it's just I get that like I get that thing from her like she doesn't let people walk all over her sometimes she does because she doesn't want to get I don't know in trouble by her boss which we're not going to get into that. <sighs> Overall, I'm not going to sit there and back down from anything because I'm not that type of person. But then again, it depends on the type of situation as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I get it. The lighting is crap. So, there's no need to comment on that. And you, okay, and for the person that actually does, com actually does comment about the, about certain things a lot, if I have, if I have to, I can just block you. But since I'm a nice person, I haven't done that yet. You just really annoy me. And you know who I'm, and 
You know who you are. But. I get it. I probably seem like a jerk. Can, can whoever's doing that just leave me the heck alone? Like, I'm trying to film. <sighs> so, yeah, that's basically my point that I want to get across, that like, I want to put out there, you know? Um, anyways, the update is this is basically what I got stuck with. Like, so where it broke is like, I can't, obviously, I'm not going to take this off because I don't feel like it. But it's like right in here. And it affects both of these fingers and part of my wrist. So my hand, my hand is, okay, okay you know what? So my hand is basically like this. Um, so far, I'm at zero pain. Uh, the only pain that I really have is mostly in the palm area and like on like the knuckle area right in here and sometimes a little bit in the wrist but like it's at a one sometimes it escalates to a two but for the most part I'm basically perfectly fine really um, another update is I haven't really been in the splint for that long um, But, yeah, surprisingly, I'm not, surprisingly, there's, like, barely any pain, and the good news is I can take this off next Thursday, which I'm excited for. Um, and I'll, I'm only going to have to go back to the bone doctor if within if after two weeks I can't really get my hand to do everything that you know my left hand can um yeah um let's see what else Um, I don't normally, I normally don't do anything with my left hand because it's like, it's my weak hand because my dominant hand is obviously my right hand, but a lot harder to do stuff with my left hand because I don't normally use that hand for what I would normally use my dominant hand for um, after a while it got a little bit easier and I remember when I was actually able to like move these three fingers here and kind of like get used to using them and doing stuff with it because I'm actually able to do quite a bit now even though this is on it's just it's mostly because I can I basically have access to it almost um, I just don't really like I don't lift anything heavy like even when it comes to laundry just I just that's we're not gonna get into that though. that's complicated but um yeah This video is being filmed and going up later than I had expected and planned and said it would, and so is the other, and so is the other video that I'm gonna film. 
which I'm probably going to film later today. Or I might film it tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on my mood. Depends on really if I do anything. Like, if I'm not hanging out with my friends today, then I'm going to film the other one. But, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm able to write with my right hand again. It's just, I have to, ouch, that hurt that time. I put it in a weird position. It's just, I kind of have to have like, I have to have my paper like leaning on the edge of something in order for me to like be able to write because this gets in my way of doing that. But, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just lazy and don't really feel like doing an outro, so just, You got some nerve sneaking up on me like that. Don't hit me with the door, please. What the hell are you doing? I'm filming my video. A what? It's a sit down chit chat. Oh, who? It's. Don't ask questions. Just go in the house, please. Shut up. Don't discriminate. That was my mom. What an awkward way to end a video. I don't like when people sneak up on me like that. That's just not cool. Anyways, that's it for this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. And, and yeah, you might get the other video today. You might not. There's a spider crawling right beneath my phone. I'm not happy about that. Get out of here. There we go. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.